When I was a little girl, I used to go on bike rides with my parents, and I remember being surrounded by field after field of bright yellow flowers. I later learned that these flowers were the crop oilseed rape. Today, oilseed drape is a popular cooking oil, and due to its numerous health benefits, is now the third largest source of vegetable oil in the world. In 2012, the UK grew around one seventh of the total oilseed rape grown in Europe. However, over the last two years, the amount of oilseed rape grown in the UK has declined by about 28%. That's the equivalent of 200,000 football fields. So why are UK farmers giving up on growing oilseed rape? And the answer is the cabbage stem flea beetle, the major pest attacking oilseed rape in UK and many parts of Europe. This is a two-for-one pest. First, the adults feed on baby plants and young leaves during the autumn, leaving the plants with a lot of holes, or even killing the crop completely. If the crop survives, it's then the larvae who feeds and develop inside the petioles and stems during winter and later in spring. This makes the plants much more vulnerable to frost diseases and ultimately death. So, how can we control this pest? Has it always been a problem? To control these pesky beetles, for many years, the seeds had an insecticide coat on, meaning that the insecticide was in the plant, and farmers would spray their fields with an insecticide meant to kill the beetles. However, in 2013, there was a ban on the insecticide seed coat, meaning that farmers were left with just the insecticide spray. This made the cabbage stem flea beetle resistant to the insecticides, making them increasingly more challenging to control. Part of my work is to investigate how resistant different populations of cabbage stem flea beetle are from across the UK. To do this, farmers will send me a sample of cabbage stem flea beetle in the post. I'll then put the beetles in a glass pot coated in insecticide and see how many survive. Over the last three years, I found that the number of beetles that survive my test has increased, meaning that insecticide resistance is becoming more common. And that's a real problem. It means that we now need to look at alternative methods to control these insect pests. And that's where my research comes in. I'm looking into the potential of using beneficial parasitic wasps to control cabbage stem flea beetle. They are like these creepy and frightening aliens we see in sci-fi movies, but smaller, cuter and harmless to humans. First, the females thrust its abdomen forward, insert the stinger into the beetle's body and lays eggs. Then, the larvae develops inside the beetle, feeding on their flesh. Once the larvae is fully developed, it will come out of the beetle, killing it completely. Then, they will pupate and emerge later as an adult, ready to kill more beetles. These parasitoids can kill many beetles, reducing their populations to small numbers that plants can cope with. To help these parasitoids doing their job, we need small changes in the environment and the way we cultivate, like reducing the amount of pesticide we use or planting flowering margins where they can feed and hide. So if we want to keep oilseed rape as part of our local landscape and enjoy locally grown oil, we need to look at alternative methods of control that balance the demand for food with environmental concerns. Our work is just a tiny part of all the research that is being done to control cabbage stem flea beetle. Together, we will ensure that the crop losses and reductions in oil rape area stay in our past.